Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Soccer Undercover Vlog. Yes, I am your host for today, Mad Dog, and I'm just going to bring you some important updates to the channel again. How's it going, guys? Mad Dog here. Alright. Uh, first things first, the most important thing I really want to talk to you guys about is that we started streaming on a new platform called DLive. Now, uh, I just want to quickly just go over that a little bit. Uh, DLive seems like a really good idea. Like, I, I, we're already making money off of it, so that's already a big plus, and it's going to help out with us for doing content for the channel. So, uh, basically... From watching a stream on DLive, uh, you can earn money if y'all haven't heard of this already. I'm sure because of uh, PewDiePie joining, uh, I'm pretty positive that y'all have heard of it. So, his 90 million uh, uh, subs on YouTube, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if all of them have come over, but <laughs> I know a huge amount of them did whenever he uh, did a live stream this last weekend, so... Pretty sure majority of you probably know from his channel or some of these other big YouTubers and stuff like that. But I want to push it because A, it'll help us to, uh, you know, improve ourselves, you know, uh, especially financially too. Uh, I've started helping out a little bit on that front since I have more funds available to me now. So I'm going to be helping a lot more with like server costs and stuff like that. So we can get better quality servers. So when we do stuff that y'all can join us in, we'll have enough server space to be able to do stuff like that. Uh, but um, my main point is that if you haven't heard of DLive when you're watching us, now this is on the mobile app right now because the... Uh, you can watch on PC, but they don't have a button for it yet, so I highly encourage y'all to download the mobile app on your phone and do it from there. Uh, just um, create your account and all that. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, uh, when you're watching us or any other streamer on the platform, there'll be this little treasure chest icon in the bottom right corner of the screen of the stream. And you'll see a gauge around it. When that fills up and the chest starts shaking, click on that chest and you earn one of the uh, currency for that. Uh, I think it's called uh, Lemos. Uh, pardon me if I mispronounce that. I'm terrible with names and stuff like that. But you earn one of those. And basically that's the equivalent of uh, US currency of uh, a penny. It's worth 0.012. So it's slightly more than a penny. So basically, when you get five of them, it's like you have six pennies. So, but you earn you earn that currency pretty quickly if you're watching a, a stream. So you can make you know a couple dollars a day, you know, just watching streamers. And you have the option to hold on to that funds and cash it out if you want, or you know you can invest it into us or your favorite streamer on the platform. So, but uh. So that's why I like the uh, the platform. We can earn money, y'all can earn money, which is the cool thing about this, is y'all can earn money. So that's why I'm like really pushing it. And we would love your help on this, guys. If, since, since you watch us on YouTube, you watch us on Twitch, you know, uh, we would just appreciate it if you would just follow us on DLive. It's not a requirement. If you're willing to, that would be a huge help to us. Because uh, we can make uh, the partner requirements a lot easier. We actually have the resources now. If everybody from our YouTube came over and uh, followed us on DLive, we would actually make partner already on DLive. And so that's already a huge step up from these other platforms that we've been doing. So, which will help us with, you know, finances and stuff like that on this end to help you give, give you better content. Get better, ga uh, get more games be able to afford more games like when they come out and stuff like that uh, instead of having to months later down the road when you know it's already kind of the hype for it's died down <laughs> so <coughs> excuse me guys I just this pollen is still finally starting to drop here but it's still affecting me so 
apologies if I cough or sneeze, but I'm still trying to fight not getting a sinus infection here, so I'm like, ugh. But yeah, so if you could help us out that way, just just go over. Uh, I'm going to include the link for DLive in the description below. Uh, I'll go ahead and also read it out loud. It's uh, if you type in your web browser, it's uh, https colon forward slash forward slash DLive. That's D L I V E dot TV forward slash, and then it's slackers undercover as one word. But you capitalize the at the first S in slackers, and then you capitalize the U in undercover. So that's the link. Uh, that link will be in the description below. But I mean, you just go on the on the phone to download the app on your Google Play Store or whatever. It's free to download it, uh, and then you can just do a search for slackers undercover one word, and you'll find us that way too with our little emblem that y'all are well acquainted with by now our little hooded figure with the blue background uh so yeah uh we're gonna be streaming there quite a bit so just you know when you watch us on youtube or twitch you know just open it up on the side on your on your phone and uh watch us there too and then you can earn some money while you're watching us so i see it as a win-win for both of us really so <laughs> just uh you know we can really use your help, guys. Uh, just get the word out and, you know, sign up for DLive to earn some money. I mean, it's cool. I, I really like the concept of this platform. We'll see if this takes off or not on this platform. But I am have a lot of high hopes because the copyright issues that we have with YouTube uh, sounds like it's not going to be an issue with this platform. So they're currently working on that to where, like, that's one of the biggest issues like for instance my dirt 4 uh playthrough that i've been doing i had a really hard time with that because uh it's been playing a lot of copyright music in the background i turned music off in my game but when it does the tutorials and stuff it turns it back on and i'm like what's the point of allowing you to turn off music in a game if you're just going to turn it back on and then i get we get hit with a, a copyright strike and then i have to have dust bunny uh because i don't have editing software and he does so whenever he has a chance to he has to edit out that music and then add in some other music that's acceptable so so yeah so that's kind of been the reason why that series has been so delayed because bunny's been sick a lot lately there's been a lot of uh issues with him being able to have time to do stuff and he's trying to pump out content for y'all on top of doing research and uh, doing background maintenance and stuff on the channel and stuff. He does all of that. So again, big shout out to Dust Bunny Avenger. These channels would not, we would not be here for y'all if it wasn't for him. Uh, he's like the big star of our, of our of our group. So make sure y'all comments down below. Give him a big thanks, man, because he he does a lot of stuff y'all don't see behind the scenes. In addition to giving y'all content, so. He's not be been able to do a lot of the content that he would like to, but, you know, life happens, so uh, he's hoping to get more out there. So I know some of y'all have been asking where Best Dust Bunny has been. He's just had a lot on his plate, so <laughs> he, he's, he's still here. Trust me, he didn't quit the channel. He's he's here, so, you know, just uh, relax, y'all, who have been asking for him. Uh, just, pay, just pay attention. You'll see when he's streaming. So lately, he's been doing the Borderlands streams, so. I haven't been doing that because I didn't know if he was going to continue without me. So I've been having him just do the streaming on everything when we do those. Because, you know, it's whenever Charlie and um, Clunkin can join us. Charburger or Clunkin Dunks, you know, can join us. Uh, they uh, they usually can do stuff whenever I have to go to work. So that's the problem there of being on different schedules from everybody else. I can't be included during the week in the afternoons for a lot of things. So... That's why mostly on the weekends is when you see me join the rest of the group. So, uh, so yeah, so I've just been letting him do the streaming on all the platforms for that instead of taking over a view for him. So that way, if they continue on without me, one platform doesn't have to just stop its stream because, you know, I'm not there anymore. So, because <laughs> I got to go to work. Deliver that beer for y'all. <laughs> But uh, all right, uh, so that was the big thing I wanted to uh, talk about. Uh, I guess I just want to briefly go over uh, MizumiCon a little bit. Uh, I want to say I was a 
I don't want y'all to hate on me for this, and I'm not really hating on MizumiCon for this either, so don't take this the wrong way. I'm just going to say I was disappointed in the location for MizumiCon, if that makes sense. The venue was way too small. It felt like a mini-con to me, uh, but it still had the... Uh, I, I fortunately did not have to pay for tickets because I won tickets, so... But if I had to have paid a con price for that, I would have been kind of upset. Because there was only two rooms where you could, uh, they had, like, uh, rooms for panels. And then there was one pretty decently sized room for the, uh, the merchandise and, you know, like, the stores to, like, sell things and stuff like that to y'all. And, um, there was a, a fighting arena, and then there were two computers for gaming you know like there's a company that brought out like some games to like show off and stuff like that and i was like that's really that's ridiculously small compared to like other conventions i've been to and i've been to mizumi con in the past and that is a major drop in content for them they did have a big chunk of the first floor reserved for uh they they called it um uh anime chess so it was like, uh, you basically, they were asking people who were in cosplays to go, or cosplay chess is what it was. Uh, and uh, they would represent the pieces of the chessboard. It was like human si uh, life-size chessboard, and then people were staying in the spots and then, you know, duke it out. And they were using the commentary of what each person was from, like someone was from Naruto doing some sort of attack against someone from, you know, like Bleach or something like that. So... It was kind of cool, you know, seeing, like, hearing that, but, like, that was the most interesting thing there to me, and I I just didn't want to wait around just to do that, so basically when I was leaving is when they started doing that finally, and I was like, they're just, it ain't, they needed a bigger venue so they could have more rooms for panels going on, because you, I wasn't gonna, I got there early in the morning, and there was a panel that was, like, towards the evening, that I was like, oh, that would be really cool to go do. But once I leave here, I'm not coming back because that's a far drive. So I was like, nah, I'm good. So, um, yeah, so basically, as long as I, I'm going to wait next year to see where their venue is at. But as long as they do like a better place where they can have more stuff open, you know, uh, I'll definitely go back to MizumiCon because I loved MizumiCon in the past. This year was a little disappointing, but I feel like they were held back by their space. So I'm not holding that against them because I don't know if they, were a they weren't able to get a bigger space for some reason. Like places were booked up when they wanted to do it. That was the only place available. I don't know what happened with that. You'd have to ask them. But uh, on another side note for that, uh, it was really cool to find out that one of my friends, uh, uh, Andy... Uh, their artwork was done for two of the badges. So here's one of them right here. So that was my badge from the uh, convention. I'll get this lamp. There we go. So yeah. So I wrote that on there. That's their artwork. So I was like, that's so cool that they, they got to do the artwork for that. So huge shout out to you. Uh, th that's really cool. So, really awesome for one of my friends to get the opportunity to have their their artwork on the badge there. So, I just wanted to show that off because that's really cool. Um, that's also the same friend. I need to get back with them because I feel horrible for, uh, <laughs> you know, all that stuff happened with the move and everything. And I kind of lost track of doing that. I need to get back with them and uh, talk to them about doing that. That was that voice... Um, voice acting job I was going to kind of do or whatever. So I need to get with them, make sure, you know, they didn't replace me because I took too long to get back with them. So hopefully I still have a part in that. But, uh, you know, I just, I just, everything that happened, my wife getting sick, the move, I just, you know, life happens sometimes. So, uh, huge apologies to, to you, Andy, if, uh, uh, if you had to replace me, I'm really sorry about that. But, uh, I'm gonna make myself more available in case uh, I do have a role in that still so 
Uh, and then I'll let y'all know when that stuff officially comes out. So, yeah. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, picked up a few more games for the channel. Uh, so, going to be doing a couple more uh, new things on the channel. So, I'm going to cut back on some of my other stuff for the channel. Like uh, my DVDs and my... Uh, Joy of Robo Building. I might do the Joy of Robo Building, but I won't do like a, a test thing afterwards. I'll just do like maybe a stream or something like that later on down the road so you can see how the bot works against actual people or something. But because that series has been doing good, but I just there's so much other games I want to play and I don't have time to do everything. So it's like I need to cut something out or cut down on things. And at least with those, I could cut down and get two more spots open for other things. So. Uh, so we'll see how that works out, but, uh, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about is, hmm, oh yes, um, the reason why I didn't, uh, live stream from YouTube when I was at MizumiCon was because YouTube decided to update their policies on you being able to stream from your phone. Like, the weekend before MizumiCon, I tested this out, did a test stream with Dust Bunny, and he was like, oh, you know, that quality, sound quality's good, you know, video looks good, and everything. I even got a stand that I showed y'all, you know, I have it right here, actually, for the phone, a little tripod, that I was going to start uh, streaming on when I do my cosplay stuff. And now, when I went to the convention, I was trying to do it, and it says, you know, you don't have the requirements it says now you need a thousand subs to be able to do that so they added to that thousand mark thing all of a sudden within a week they took away the ability to stream from your phone from us so that's kind of another reason why we're upset with youtube right now <laughs> and i know i shouldn't be i guess bashing them <laughs> while i'm uh doing a video on their channel but I mean, they're just really tearing into us small, uh, small content creators, and it's just this is kind of another reason why a bunch of people are going to D Live because they're more for their creators, whereas YouTube is more for their advertisers at this point. So, I mean, that's what they have to do. That's the people that pay them, pay us. So they have to follow their rules. But that's why D Live's going to be more content creator uh based so hopefully i'm really hoping this new platform works out but i'm i'm kind of getting really fed up with youtube at this point but i still want to hold out on youtube because this is where i discovered a lot of my favorite youtubers and spent a lot of my time you know watching like markiplier or jacksepticeye and wade and bob and all that I absolutely love those guys, and, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, the state of affairs, you know, this just keeps happening to YouTube, it's just, uh, it's making it very tough to do anything on, on here, so, that's why we hope that DLive works out, but we'll see, and, um, so yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna just do recordings for the time being, I got kind of subject here a little bit, but, I'm kind of going to just do recordings, I guess, of my cosplay stuff. I would have preferred to do live streams of that, but the only way I could do a live stream would be do it to Facebook. And then um, uh, and then post it to YouTube. But if y'all watch on Facebook, I don't know if y'all would be willing to watch it again on YouTube, which would be the whole point of why I'm putting it to YouTube so we get the views and stuff like that. So, I don't know. To me, it doesn't seem like it's worth it doing it that way, so... Uh, I'm going to look into like maybe some other way of getting a webcam from in here to out there because the other room over from here is where that table is that I, I'm going to start doing my cosplay stuff on. It's like a, like a living room slash craft area, like a hobby room kind of basically. <coughs> it's kind of what this room is too, except it's computer slash hobby. It's more like display, I guess, because I got my cool stuff over here and then. My oh, wife's got her, I got my games and my, her office stuff here. And then of course, uh, you can kind of see the clothes in the background because we had to use the closet space in here because we didn't have enough room in our other closet in the bedroom. So that's why I have the poster there. So that way you don't see as much of that, especially when the screen's smaller. But for right now, you kind of see all this right here. <laughs> so 
But yeah, I, I mean, I can't do anything about that. We need the space, so. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna do some recordings because I still plan on working on that uh, Borderlands gun that I was telling y'all about in the last update video. So uh, I guess I'll just do recordings for the time being until I can figure out a way to stream it. Uh, the only thing I can think of is get a super, some sort of like wireless streaming webcam or uh, just I'll have to get another webcam with a really long cord <laughs> to reach out there. But then I'll have to figure out the a mic too. Uh, that Or just get the webcam I get will have to have a really good mic on it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, man, YouTube, see, this is what I mean. Like, YouTube just made things comp more complicated for us. Because now, something new I was going to bring to the channel has to be put on hold or done a different way because of what they just did. So, it's like, uh, uh But, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I could see if there's a way to maybe stream from DLive from my phone. Maybe do it in there. I don't know. I'll have to see what their policies are on that. I haven't even checked on that or asked Bunny about that yet. So, But yeah, um, I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about today with y'all. So, Again, I'm not hating on MizumiCon. I don't want to get any hate or like I don't want to do anything negative toward them. Because I really love that convention. I loved it when it was at the Lady of the Lake University. Um, but um, yeah, I just I hope next year they, they have a bigger venue basically so that way the more stuff can happen because some of the panels i wanted to look at you know like i was like a bunch of these panels i don't really care for and the panels i really want to watch are way late in the evening it's like i don't want to come back here after i left so uh when i left uh it was me and my friend erica she came with me since my wife was busy with schoolwork and we went over to uh saska to go watch uh autocross because they were doing an autocross at the time Stuff, the racing I used to do, which uh, I'm going to talk with Dust Bunny about that and see if uh, there's a way I can post those uh, videos on here. Because I am playing copyright music in the background because I was, you know, autocrossing. I was listening to some cake. <laughs> yes, that's a band. And those of y'all who don't know, there's a band called Cake. Uh, I love them. They're great. But uh, <laughs> uh, I was doing some, uh, I was listening to that music while I'm doing the autocross. So I don't know if there's a way he can just like we can have that music still in there and just like not get that video monetized so I can show y'all or what. So I need to talk to him about that because as of right now on YouTube, we can't, that's like our biggest issue is with copyright strikes for like stuff that isn't ours, the music and everything. But uh, yeah, so, uh, and then, oh, I guess the last thing is uh, cars delayed again. So more issues with parts and some custom work that needed to get done on the car. Uh, has to wait till this is done. So basically, I don't know when I'm getting my car got back, guys. So as soon as I get it back, I'll show it off to y'all. And, you know, we'll get out to an autocross event with it. And I'll show you what it can do now <laughs> once once uh, I break it in a little bit. So, But all right, guys, uh, that is all for today. Uh, again, please help us out. Uh, get on DLive sub to us on there or follow us on there i mean it's called following on there so just follow us on there and you'll be doing us a big help you know you don't have to but just help us out guys i mean we we could use the help and it'll help us get better content out to y'all and stuff like that so thank you all for joining me and yeah uh oh uh i guess uh, end of this month is when uh, also uh, update on my wife. That was the last thing I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, that's when we find out that pre-cancer has gone, guys. Or she's got to do another round of medication or what. So, uh, end of this month, beginning of next month is when she goes in for a test. So, that's another reason why I'm not going to do the event for my car club with Nismo Fiesta. One, I don't know if I have my car back in time for it. And two, uh, my wife's testing is on that Saturday of the event. The event's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but uh, my wife's going to need me that day, so I will be unavailable. And I don't know how she'll be feeling the following day after that, so we'll see if uh, you know, I'm able to go out there and help them out with that. So, as, uh, we, we do a good thing with that. We give to Wounded Warriors. Uh, 
all the pro uh, proceeds that we make from Nismo Fiesta always goes to Wounded Warriors, so we always like to, you know, give when we can for that those types of things with the car club. That's why I love this car club, is it gives so much back as, uh, as possible. So, at Z Sports San Antonio, so those of you who want to check them out. If you have a Nissan, Datsun, or uh, Infinity, uh, hit them up if you're in the San Antonio area. We're a great car club. We always have things to do. Uh, we're always helping out people, and then we're helping each other out on our cars too. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys, that is absolutely everything I needed to talk to you about. So, you know, say a prayer for my wife. Hopefully, you know, we're out of the uh, out of that by then, and you know, can keep moving forward. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you all for joining me, and this is Mad Dog signing off, and we'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Arr, arr.